Hello, and welcome once again to Yoga for Kids and Their Adults. My name is Tony. I'm here at Me Time LLC, a massage and yoga studio here in Troy, Alabama. This program is sponsored in part by the Charles Henderson Child Health Center. They are a pediatric physician and dental office taking care of children from birth to age 19. They fund this with a grant that they receive from the Children's Trust Fund, whose purpose is to prevent child abuse and neglect. So, welcome to our third episode here in December. Uh, and you'll notice I have a really pretty snowflake here in my hands. And it's said that no two snowflakes are exactly alike. And there's a lot of science behind that to explain it, but I just like how they glisten and they float in the air and they kind of make people happy. And I thought we might try to make ourselves into snowflakes today through yoga. So, if you are ready to turn into a snowflake, go ahead and clear your space. You're not going to need a whole lot of space, just enough to kind of spread out just a little bit. If you are going to be practicing with a partner, make sure you have enough space to not smack them in the head or knock them down. That would not be very relaxing or conducive to our purposes today. Um, if you want to, you can practice barefoot like me, or you can have little sandals on or sneakers on or socks. Uh, whatever it happens, I, I realize it's kind of cold this time of year, so whatever makes you comfortable. We're not going to be doing anything too terribly challenging today, um, so whatever is comfortable for you. And when you're ready, go ahead into your mountain pose. All right, if you remember, that's with your feet under your hips, your hips under your shoulders, your shoulders under your ears, your hands at your side. And we're going to start here with our mountain pose. This is a really easy pose to get right. This is why we start with it. And then we're going to start to incorporate our breath. Okay. So as we breathe in, we move away from the ground. As we breathe out, we move closer to the ground. Let's try that all together. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let your hands float down to your sides. Breathe in. Let your hands reach all the way up to the sky. Breathe out. Let your hands float down to your sides. Now, notice that my shoulders are staying pretty well stationary here. So I'm moving, but the shoulders are staying down. Don't let them come all the way up here and swallow your head. That's not how a snowflake works. We need to re reach up. Keeping our shoulders down and then exhale, bringing our hands to the side. Let's make this a bigger movement. Are you ready? So inhale, bring your hands up overhead. Don't let your shoulders come up and swallow your head. Exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. Hang out here for about three to five breaths. Now, if you want to, you can kind of wiggle your bottom and just feel how that changes the stretch. It kind of goes from one leg to the other. All right, then bend your knees, bring your hands up in a nice chair pose. Three breaths here. And then inhale all the way up. Exhale, drop down to the floor again. Again, bigger movements. We're warming up here. Hang out here for three to five breaths. Then bend your knees forward, bring your hands up. We're in our chair pose again. Three breaths here. Then inhale, stretch all the way up. Last time, down to the ground as you exhale. Three breaths here. Inhale, exhale. And then bend your knees. Bring your arms up to chair pose. Three breaths here. And then all the way up with an inhale. Exhale, let your hands float down. So if you look at that snowflake, you'll notice it's spread out wide. So that brings us to our star pose. So from our mountain pose, all you need to do is step out with both feet in a nice wide stance. You can have your toes pointed a little bit out. Gives you a little bit easier stability there. Keep, try to keep your knees as straight as you can. Then bring your arms out level with the ground, palms towards the front. And you are in your star pose. Now, not every snowflake starts off in its big, magnificent form, does it? No, it starts off kind of small. So bend your knees, bring in your hips down, bend your elbows, bring in your hands in. In our nice little frog pose, bring your hands to heart center in prayer. 
And then as we grow, we're growing slowly. We're bringing our hands out all the way out, stretching our legs out, stretching our head up, and we are big like a snowflake. That's wonderful. Hold this for about three breaths here. And then slowly, as you start to melt, bend your knees, bend your elbows, bring your hands back down in front of your chest. This is our nice little frog pose. We're all compacted here. And then inhale, we're going to grow again. Nice and big. Bring your arms out, head up, straighten your legs, stand tall in your star pose. Now, a snowflake doesn't stay still, does it? It kind of rides the wind. So imagine, if you will, that you're this big snowflake in your star pose, and there's a big gust of wind coming over here from your right. What happens? We stand up and then fly. Can you do that? Can you stand up tall? Left arm goes up, right arm goes down, and fly. Catch the breeze. Stand up and fly. One more time. Stand up and catch the breeze. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Ready? Stand up. Breeze is coming from over there. And ride the breeze. Stand up. And fly. Stand up. And fly. You're a beautiful snowflake. Stand up. Last time. And ride the breeze all the way down. And as you get down to the ground, it's a little warmer. So you're going to start to shrink and melt and bend your knees and your elbows. Bring in your hands in front of your chest. Bring your head down. See if you can touch the ground. This is lovely for little melted snowflakes. But maybe we get to be snowflakes again and we start to inhale and stretch out wide in our star pose, standing up straight, straightening out our back and our head and our arms. We're big, beautiful snowflakes again. And we get blown from the right up and then catch the breeze. And we get blown from the left up and catch the breeze. One more time, right and catch the breeze. What last time, left up and catch the breeze. And now we're floating and floating. Go ahead and get them wiggles out. We're floating on the breeze over the trees and the houses. And oh, I see a snowman. What kind of shapes do you see in a snowman? A big round snowman, right? So what can we do that makes us big and round? Well, how about a crescent pose? It makes us kind of round, right? So bring your feet in together. Bring your hands up overhead and bend your hands to one side and push your hips out to the other. Nice round side of the snow snowman. One more breath and then reach all the way up to the sky and then bend the other way. Bring your hands down to the side. Your hips go out to the opposite side and you are now the other half of the snowman in this nice big round shape. So if you have a buddy, reach up and see if you can get your fingertips to touch together. So you bend over and touch your fingertips together and bend up or touch your fingertips together. Depends on how many people you have with you. Last time up, let your hands float down like snowflakes on the breeze. So we've had a snowman. And what do we decorate in the wintertime? <gasps> a tree. So do you remember how to do tree pose? Wonderful. So get into your mountain pose. Shift your weight over to one side. Bend one knee up, and you can keep a toe on the floor. That's fine. This is not a judgment place. This is a do what your body lets you do place, okay? So turn your knee out. Put the base of your foot against the inside of this leg. Then bring your hands to prayer at heart center. And if you really have really good balance, you can stretch tall up like a tree. And imagine you have a star up above. Can you wiggle your fingers and have a nice little twinkly star up there on top of your tree? That's wonderful. When you're ready, go ahead and bring your hands back to prayer at heart center. Bring your knee in, put your foot down, and kind of shake out your legs. When you're balancing on one leg, it makes one leg work really hard while the other one's working hard in a different way. So you want to kind of shake them out and neutralize them. Okay, so let's do the tree 
on the other side. So again, you start back in your mountain pose. Shift your weight over to the other foot this time. Not the same one that you just did. All right. Lift the opposite foot up. You can leave your toe on the ground. Bring your knee out and the bottom of your foot on the inside of this leg. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center. And then you can cross your thumbs here. Bring your hands up overhead, stretching up tall like a tree. And then, what do we have on top of the tree? A star! Wiggle those fingers in your bright and twinkly star. Wonderful! One more breath here, and then we're going to close our star, bring our hands back to heart center. We're going to turn our knee forward. We're going to step down on that foot, and we're going to shake out our legs. That was wonderful! So we practiced being trees. We practiced being snowmen. Um, what do we hang by the fireplace? A stocking. Now, I'm not quite sure about you, but I'm not quite sure how to be a, a stocking. Do you know how to do that? Hmm. Well, let's see. A stocking kind of has a little bit of a J shape to it, right? Kind of hangs down and hangs out. <gasps> Hero's pose. Do you remember how to do hero's pose? Okay. Come down to the ground. Onto your knees. I'm going to stand, do this sideways so you can see. All right. So if we're sitting down on our heels, this is hero's pose. But if we raise it up and bring our arms up, it's kind of like we're stockings hung by the chimney. How neat is that? We can be stockings hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon will be there. How wonderful. And let's go ahead and come down. Back to hero's pose. And then let's become our stockings again. Ready? Arms up. Raise up and hang on to that mantle. Hang on to that fireplace. We are ready for the, the toys. Or if we've been naughty, we get coal. Um, <laughs> hopefully you've been a Good boy or girl, right? Excellent. Wonderful. And then come back down. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to face you this time. Okay? So we're down in our hero's pose. And let's turn this into our stocking. So lift up. Bring your arms up. And which side's your mantle on? Put that little hook there. That way you're hanging on the mantelpiece. Just ready for Santa Claus. And then go ahead and back down to hero's pose. Now, Santa pulls a sleigh. That's right. Let's see. We don't really have a sleigh pose, but we do have a boat pose. Let's do this boat pose as the sleigh. Come on. Sit on your bottom. Bend your knees. Bring your arms level to the ground. Are you ready? Lift one foot. Lift two feet, and you are a boat, a sleigh, flying through the air with the reindeer in front of you, and rock forward. Whew. Santa has a lot of work on his hands, doesn't he? Let's do that one more time, okay? Arms level with the ground. Hold on to those reins. Now lift one foot and the other, and you are flying in Santa's sleigh. Yay! Oh, don't let go of the reins. Rock forward. Wonderful. Now, what does Santa bring to all the good boys and girls? Oh, is that? I couldn't hear you. Presents? Of course. How can we be a present? Well, let's sit down in our easy pose. Kind of fold it up like a bow. Isn't that wonderful? And then you can bring your hands again to prayer at heart center and see how small you can make yourself. Because really, it's the good things that come in those small packages, isn't it? So a small, small package. And we are being presents. You can feel your back stretch. You can feel your hip stretch. One more breath. And then sit back up and bring your hands down. Now... Santa Claus is known to be around when children are sleeping. So what is your typical sleeping pose? Laying on your back. 
in corpse pose or final resting pose. And this is where we'll end our routine. So if you're comfortable doing so, you can close your eyes and imagine what joy you'll have this holiday season with friends and family and presents and Santa Claus. And then take a moment and just say thank you. Thank you for all the wonderful things you already have that give you joy and make you happy. Like your friends and your family, they are a gift. Your teachers, they are a gift. The people who protect you, the people who nurture you, and help you be the best you you could possibly be. Say a nice thank you right from the heart. And when you're ready, open your eyes, roll onto one side, support your head with your arm, and once you're ready to make bigger movements, roll forward, put your arms on the ground, and push yourself up to a seated posture. I'm going to go for bound angle. This is just comfortable for me. So you can sit in whatever pose you're comfortable with. I wanted to thank you for participating with Yoga for Kids and Their Adults all year long. This has been a joy for me to make these routines and share them with you and your family and friends. I hope that you have enjoyed these and that you've gotten some more flexibility and more understanding of what yoga is and is not. And I hope that you continue to practice even next week when we're taking our break. So there will not be an episode next week, but don't you fear there will be one the week after for New Year's. Until then, my name is Tony. I'm here at Me Time LLC, a massage and yoga studio here in Troy, Alabama. This program is sponsored in part by the Charles Henderson Child Health Center. They are a pediatric physician and dental office taking care of children from birth to age 19. They fund this program with the grant that they receive from the Children's Trust Fund, whose purpose is to prevent child abuse and neglect. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for joining me and being part of this wonderful yoga community. And I hope to see you again real soon. Until then, happy holidays. And remember to be kind to yourself and others. Namaste. Namaste.